Glory to Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Subdeacon Lazarus, and this is an Orthodox Minute. Uh, we just recently celebrated a rather obscure feast, and it was the feast of the Fifth Ecumenical Council. And one might ask themselves, why would that be obscure? Uh, and that's a very good question. But it is an obscure feast, and it is an obscure feast partially because it's a, it is an obscure council. Uh, if you just do a little research online and see what you come across uh, on this council, it's very sparse. Uh, there might be a mention of the three chapters, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Very brief. Uh, in fact, in all collections of um, commentary on the ecumenical councils, just about that you'll find online. You'll have these really long descriptions of all the other ecumenical councils, and when it gets to this one, it's like almost nothing. And I actually did my master's thesis on this topic uh, because I was interested. Uh, partially in that question, why is this council kind of glossed over? It's an ecumenical council, which means it's on the highest level of councils received by the Orthodox Church. Um, and it's dogmatic and definitive. Uh, so I was intrigued about this. 